welcome to my new vlog entry. Today is about the second day of the ICS uh, Cybersecurity Advanced Training. Uh, the day started off with uh, uh, looking at the scan results from the vulnerability scanners uh, from Nessus and OpenVAS. Nessus is a paid, uh, was a paid version and OpenVAS was an open source uh, vulnerability scanner. Uh, you could definitely see, definitely see uh, difference between the results uh, between open source, the non-paid version, and uh, package from Nessus that you needed to pay for. Uh, for example, Nessus found a lot of more uh, vulnerabilities than OpenVAS did, uh, and gave a lot of more detailed information about what it found in the end reports. Um, the rest of the day was um, def definitely very technical. It was uh, we were learning about how to use Metasploit. Uh, first off we got an introduction about Metasploit, how does uh, exploits work. Uh, I can show you right now I guess, in the, the book right here. Let me see if this works. Um, so for example you can see right here uh, some diagrams on the explanation of payloads and where uh, the faults are. Um, so let me put you right back. So um, we did a lot of uh, testing with Metasploit. Um, I don't know if you noticed uh, the pictures, but um, uh, the class uh, in which I'm in is uh, divided in three. You have the internet uh, section, uh, the DMZ section, and the section on which the ICS SCADA system is. Uh, I am in the middle section, DMZ section, and we needed to try to, uh, by using Metasploit, try to um, uh, come of, uh, try to control the SCADA system uh, and try to take over the PLC. That's the end goal. Uh, that didn't uh, uh, didn't work for today. It was it was really difficult. Um, I. Uh, uh, it was possible to um, uh, compromise the system on which the management software is for the PLC. Uh, so um, you can see that uh, at the end of this edit, I will uh, I have a picture from it. So please, uh, if you are interested, uh, keep watching. <laughs> um, and uh, during the day, uh, a lot of Metasploit. We got a really good explanation um, uh, from someone here in Idaho. Which is uh, who has re a real uh, lot of knowledge about uh, exploits, uh, and also uh, analyzes exploits and also writes his own exploits. So, he gave a technical talk, and uh, it was really good to sometimes ask him questions, and because he really could answer the technical uh, questions. Um, that's uh, most of the part for today. Uh, second, uh, in the afternoon. We had uh, uh, the class divided into two teams, the red team and the blue team. And as you can see, I'm on the blue team. It means I'm in the team that needs to defend uh, his uh, network uh, and the uh, SCADA system uh, or PCS system or how do you like to call it, the terminology. I'm still uh, sometimes confused about it. Um, but we need uh, to attack. We need to defend our network from the red team. Uh, on um, as I told earlier uh, yesterday, um, on Thursday we will have the, the red team blue team exercise, and the goal is that the red team uh, needs to try to attack our network, uh, our corporate network, and try to get to the SCADA system, uh, and we need to defend our network. Um, and also need to maintain production, so uh, we can't have any uh, production uh, laying still because that will cost uh, money for the company. So that's the goal for the team I am in. Um, let's see, have I have, have anything else to add? Let me take my book because I have maybe some interesting uh, things for you technicians maybe. Uh, we got an uh, example of a remote uh, oh, a remote exploit hands-on, how you need to do that. Um, I hope the camera can make it a little bit sharper. 
so that's a really le big lessons learned on how to do this. We got also a uh, client exploit. Uh, it was really interesting. Uh, for example, you, you can uh, create a, uh, a, a malware uh, link uh, and give someone a link to your website. And uh, when he's fit visiting his website, an exploit gets loaded and you can try to take over uh, the computer. So that's, uh, that are attacks that uh, are really simple and can get you to into a corporate network by just sending an email to someone that will click on uh, this suspicious link you've created. Um, so that's, that's something I think uh, computer uh, companies should be aware of, uh, that security measures are uh, um, against such, uh, are up against such attacks. Because if an end user, for example, clicks on a link and you have your antivirus and firewall, etc., um, already in place, um, would it really defend you, or is it better to create awareness w with the end user by uh, giving the message from you don't need to click on any link or suspicious emails, etc.? Um, so, yeah, that's what uh, what I really learned today. Got me thinking while I was doing these uh, exercises. Um, I know the ums, <laughs> I got a lot of uh, comments from people about my ums, but uh, it's still the, the language uh, difficulty sometimes. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, but uh, yeah, well, for today, that was it, I guess. Um, got some great, um, maybe I can show you some great information folders from DHS. Uh, let me show it like this. So. Uh, industrial system joint working group, some information about that. Control systems uh, security program. Yeah. Uh, National Cybersecurity Communication Integration Center. Uh, it's this. Cybersecurity evaluation tool. Oh, yeah, CSET. We got an. Um, we had an uh, introduction into CSET, a uh, really interesting toolkit. I haven't uh, had any chance to try it on right now, but uh, I will do it. I will try the um, CSET toolkit when I'm in uh, the Netherlands again. Uh, incident handling, preparing incidents for analysts. So these are all free uh, folders from Homeland Security. So maybe all f if you search for the titles, I think you will uh, find them uh, via Google. So. If you're interested, just Google them. Um, let me see. The only thing I have is maybe interesting for you is the program for tomorrow. Let me see what I uh, have. Uh, tomorrow will be uh, oh network exploitation and uh, network defense. So the defense part is really important for uh, the team I'm in. Um, I will let you know tomorrow with my what uh, what it was like to learn those things. So please keep watching. Uh, tomorrow uh, I will make uh, a vlog again and I will edit some pictures from today uh, in the end of this video. Hope you like uh, like what I'm doing uh, with it. Um, still the vlogging I need to get used to but uh, well let's see what happens in the next couple of days. Um, see you again tomorrow.